hello viewers i welcome you all for my cavity of tech channel uh, today we will talk about the storage matrix in sharepoint 2019 and 2022 as you all know that it is quite uh, mandatory that whenever you are going to uh, see the data within the document libraries or we can say within a site that is uh, the site contents uh, you uh, want to know about how much data is kept in which document library and uh, uh, in this way you calculate the storage matrix okay storage matrix is one of the commonly used tool offered by sharepoint in modern sites it's quite easy if we go into site information and go into view all site settings uh, there are uh, multiple site settings here okay so in these site settings one of the most important and commonly used that we are just talking about uh, right now in this video is storage matrix okay this is a storage matrix that is available under the site collection administration and if we talk about storage matrix here you can see that it's telling you about the data in a uh, sorted way okay you can change the sorting as per your convenience you can change as per your uh, modification date okay so these are the data that is available in uh, type of storage matrix that shows that uh, this graph shows that this is a, a horizontal graph and it shows that documents are uh, that folder that contain most um, uh, most of the part of the uh, your uh, you can say storage okay 97.4 percent or if we talk about the actual size it's 57.5 right now uh, as you all know that this is a demonstration uh, video with a dummy site so uh, storage matrix are not so much mature but whenever you are working in a large organization in which there are thousands of uh, document libraries and data uh, is stored in those, uh, those libraries then storage matrix play a very important role for analysis of the data storage okay so uh, we can further dig into uh, the storage matrix for example in documents i want to explore more I will click it it will show me that uh, this is the uh, mp4 that is a video file that uh, contains uh, that occupies most of the storage that is 28.9 mb uh, similarly i can further dig into the folders if i click here here it's showing me that these are the uh, documents i can further dig in all the folders okay i can go back as well so uh, similarly if i go into test folder it's showing me that version example is containing 82.35 percent of the storage so uh, in this way uh, in uh, site collection uh, site settings storage matrix play a very important role in analysis of the data storage behavior okay so i thank you all for watching this short video uh, i hope so that most of you uh, must be familiar with this uh, option but all those new viewers who are not familiar with this option, I am excited that uh, it may have an increase of knowledge in your uh, daily life of usage of SharePoint. I thank you all for watching this video.